Let's get ready to rumble! It is the annual showdown between Boxy Charm and Ipsy, who will reign supreme this month. In this corner, we have the mighty, the ferocious, beastly Boxy Charm. In this corner, we have the magnificent, the inferior Ipsy. Who will reign superior this month? Hey guys, if you can't tell, we are going to be doing the Battle of the Boxes this month between Boxy Charm and Ipsy. If you're interested, then uh, keep watching. You guys, I'm going real cash and cozy today. It is uh, April 21st as I film this. It's 40 degrees and it snowed last night in Ohio. So, uh, that's how my day is going. Um, how's your day going? I hope the weather's a little nicer where you are. All right, to get started, we are going to unbox the beastly boxy charm first. Okay, so it looks like the theme is sweet treats, a very cute little card, very on point with Easter. Okay, the first thing I see in here is from Kinder Beauty. It is the Glow Highlighting Palette. Very interesting uh, packaging it has going on. It looks like these are actually like faces. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to get the glare on it. So very interesting packaging. And it does have a very nice mirror. Here are what the shades look like. Looks like I can wear maybe two or three of these shades. The texture feels rather interesting. You know, there we go. The texture is kind of interesting. Um, kind of chalky-like. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. So this says this palette includes three universally flattering highlighters and one marble highlighter. The talc-free buttery formula melt into skin granting a beautiful luminous look with opalescent pearls and a velvet texture the compact size makes it easy to travel with and allows for an on-the-go glow this retails for 15 dollars i mean i just did a highlight declutter so i mean sure let's let's add some stuff back to my collection um i'll give it a go we'll we'll see i don't really know if I agree with that velvet texture. It was quite interesting swatching it. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm kind of like, eh, about that product. Ooh, I'm excited. <sighs> you guys, there's a pharmacy product in here. Y'all know I love pharmacy. This is the Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. Let's get her out of the packaging because we know Mama's going to use her. Alrighty, so this is how she looks. You guys, I feel like pharmacy packaging is always on point. It's very cute, very aesthetically pleasing to put on your countertop. So this says it is a fast-absorbing, non-comedonic face oil. Hopefully I said that right. That delivers intense hydration and helps to smooth the appearance of fine line and wrinkles. Retails for $48. Whew. You guys, I turned 30 last year, so anything we can do for some wrinkles, I'm here for it. I'm super pumped to have this. I love pharmacy. Everything I've tried from them is amazing. So uh, pumped to have this in my collection. 10 out of 10, excited to have this. Next up, I see some lashes in here. Ooh. All right, so this is by Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics. It is the Monarch Lash Pack. Whether you're just transitioning into makeup or simply seeking an everyday comfortable glam lash, Baby Girl and Charmer are the perfect duo. Baby Girl is an angled lash perfect for achieving the iconic cat eye effect. Charmer is a round lash we created for an instant doll eye effect. Both are 100% silk and cruelty free. Apply your favorite pair with the lash applicator included in your kit. The retail is $38. 
you know, I'm going to be honest, I'm not mad about getting lashes. I don't wear them a ton and it's really just because I hate applying them and when they're on, my eyes just always feel heavy. So I don't wear them a ton, but I'm excited to get them because I am not the greatest about cleaning my lashes. So I feel like I dispose of them a lot faster than if you, you know, were to clean them every time you wear them. Don't at me, I know I'm gross. Girl, I know, I've just accepted it. But for that reason, I'm not mad about getting this because I feel like I can always use some extra lashes in my collection for when I do wanna wear them. And I appreciate that it came with an applicator. I mean, not that my applicator is like tweezers in my fingers, but I mean, that's nice that it's included. All right, the next thing in here is by Studio Makeup. It is a tinted moisturizer. All right, so this is how the tube looks. So it says, this is a tinted moisturizer with a light to medium coverage formulated with hyaluronic acid to combine hydrating skincare benefits with lightweight coverage and a glowy look. This retails for $35. I think that's really cool. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid. Um, I use that in my skincare routine pretty frequently. Let's do a swatch. Looks kind of dark for me right now, but I can tell you I am going to be getting a tan on very soon. So that is how she swatched out. She does look kind of orange, to be honest. Um, However, I think once I get a shade or two darker, I could use her. Excited to try it. I personally love tinted moisturizers, especially for summertime. I'm not really looking to wear a crap ton of makeup on my face. So excited to give it a go. I'm, I'm cool with her too. She cool. You guys, I don't know why I'm being so weird today. I'm just like in a mood apparently. I think it's the hat. I think the hat makes me a little more sassy. All right, the last thing in here is by Eloise Beauty. Very pretty packaging. It's like a rose gold foil. This is the Get Gleaming Body Glow Illuminator. Of course, I rip the box like a savage. Oh, very pretty packaging. I love that the top is kind of like the same color as the bottle. Very pretty. Um, I will swatch her in a minute. So this says, this is a non-sticky lightwear luminizer that can be applied to all areas on the face and body for a dazzling buildable glow. This transfer proof formula is filled with ultra sparkly reflex to radiate your skin. This retails for $38. So let's swatch her. The uh, um, topper is really pretty too. Rose gold. I'm here for the rose gold. All right. So this is how it looks when you swatch it. it. Does give obviously a very beautiful gleam. It's just a really pretty healthy looking glow actually. I wonder if this could be a dupe for the Fenty, I think it's called the Sauce. I personally have not tried that. Um, to be honest, I'm not really willing to spend the money on like aluminizer for my body, but I've heard really great things about that. Sorry, you guys, Buzz is down here and he's like destroying the boxy charm box. So, but I wonder, like I said, if this could be a dupe for that. Personally, I have not used the sauce, so I like I can't speak. This is just like a random thought out loud that I'm thinking. But I mean, with summer coming up, I'm always willing to give it a chance. Um, I don't hate it, don't love it either. So, kind of eh. All right, so this box is worth 174 doll hairs. So I will come back at the end of the video with thoughts on both boxes. So let's jump in to the inferior Ipsy Glam Bear. Will she prevail? Okay, this is how the Glam Black Bag. This is how the Glam Bag Plus looks. Um, Again, I don't really feel like I have a use for these bags, but you know, if I find one, then great. All right, the first thing in here are some makeup brushes. Let's see, this is from the brand Bow. 
scotchies. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. So this retails for $30 and it says, consider this set the essential tools in your makeup bag. It includes an illuminator brush for highlighting and contouring, a crease brush for shading your lids, a concealer brush for spot treating, a double-ended brow brush for grooming, and a tapered blending brush for eyes and face. So let's open these bad boys. Okay, so we have four brushes. Um, the, they, these are just single-ended. I kind of like the pale color with the gold barrels. They do feel very soft. I appreciate that. The fifth brush looks like this. It's double-ended with looks like a liner brush and then um, a spoolie. I'm not mad about getting brushes, but I feel like we get brushes a lot. To be honest, I probably need to declutter my brush collection. It is a little outrageous right now. Um, I'm just putting it off. Again though, not mad at the same time because I need to clean my brushes more often. I'm terrible at it. Again, don't at me. We already, we already discussed that I'm gross, you guys. Just accept it with me. So not mad to have more brushes. That just means when one's dirty and I'm too lazy to clean it, I have a clean one to reach for. So uh, not mad at it. We'll see how they, how they work. Next thing in here is a Kay Voss NYC. Uh, this is the Luminous Highlighter Palette. So here's what she looks like. Pretty similar to the outer packaging. Again, with another mirror and then here are the shades. These swatch a little more just like tra traditional highlighting pans. They're not the softest, but uh, not the worst either. I feel like that swatch was awful. There we go. I, I'm kind of annoyed that we're getting so many highlighter products because it's like this is comparing the boxes. BoxyCharm had two and now there's one in the glam bag. So not thrilled about it, but uh, so it's a trio of silky powder highlighters. There's a shimmery ivory, pearly pink and warm gold shade blend into skin like butter but uh, to give you the ultimate glow up this retails for $36. So I don't hate it but you know we already got a highlighter in BoxyCharm as well. I will say these feel a little bit better texture wise um, than the, the other one did but eh, you know I'll, I'll try it out I'll give it a go but am I excited? No. Next thing in here is a skincare item. This is by Vita Bird. It's the Dual Drop Serum. It's a vitamin C serum, I think. So here is what it looks like. Very aesthetically pleasing. I do like the frosted glass. So this is a vitamin C Dual Drop Serum. It says, the serum is packed with a stable form of vitamin C, a powerhouse antioxidant that helps brighten and even your complexion while protecting against aging free radical damage. It retails for $62. I'm pretty sure this is one of the things I picked in the bag. Um, I don't love getting skincare in these boxes because you guys, it's hard to get through so much skincare. Like if you've been getting these subscription services for a while, <clears throat> your girl has, it's just hard to work through. So again, like I will give it a go, but as well, I have sensitive skin, so I have to be careful about how many new products I use. So really, I can only use one new product at a time to make sure it doesn't break me out before I try something else and add it into my routine. Do I love this? Eh. <laughs> Again, just eh. So the next thing in here is by Purely Sir. Lise, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Sheet Masks. Um, my box is like destroyed. It was like coming apart here and it's like opened. Um, but it's a pack, I think, of five. They're just um, sheet masks. So this says, um, these sheet masks are infused with seaweed extract. It's like a glass of water for your face to help hydrate, plump, and smooth thirsty skin. Even better. Anti-inflammatory blue lotus minimizes redness and protects against the harmful effects of free radical damage. So I was wrong. There's six in here, not five. And it does retail for $36. I'm not mad about these. However, um, I do have quite a large stash of 
sheet masks already and i feel like it's kind of hard for me to use these i personally like taking a bubble bath and then using one of these while i'm like relaxing like with my face back like this but when i'm not taking a bubble bath i'm like i feel like this is just gonna slide off your face if you have to walk around and do things so I'm not the biggest fan of these. That's just a personal preference. But, you know, I'm still excited to use them. I feel like the benefits of them sound pretty intriguing. So we'll give them a go. We'll see how they perform. All right, the last thing in here I know is something I picked. It is a duo by Thrive Cosmetics. So these are lip liners. They come in the shades Gizlan and Devon. Devon is called um, a black cherry shade and Gizlan, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a plum mauve. So here are how they look. Let's do some swatchy swatches. So here are the shades. Um, this is the Gizlan whatever one and here's the other black cherry shade. They did feel very creamy going on. I do appreciate with these that they are retractable. Um, you do not have to sharpen them. I love products like that because I'm a lazy bunghole that does not like to sharpen things. So this just makes my life easier. So it's $40 for both of these. And it says this multitasking pencil primes, lines, defines, and plumps all in one shot. The universally flattering black cherry and plum mauve shades look super pretty alone or when they're worn with your favorite matching lipstick. So the full name of these lip liners, I don't think I said it earlier. Um, they are the Lip Filler Long Wearing Plumping Lip Liner Duo in Gislan in Devon. So I'm actually excited about these. This is probably the only product in this glam bag that I'm really excited about. Um, so let me go ahead and total everything up for you. So the retail of this glam bag is more than BoxyCharm. It's valued at $204. Let's get in to final thoughts and who won this battle. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I think BoxyCharm takes the win for me this month. I am super impressed. There's a pharmacy product in there, which I'm really excited to try. Personally, I love that there's lashes in there as well. Overall, I think BoxyCharm just had more makeup products. So we had the highlighting palette, we had the lash pack, there was a tinted moisturizer. So that's three makeup products right there. The Gleaming Body Luminizer, you could classify, I think, as makeup or skincare. And then we had the Pharmacy product, which is skincare. So let's say three out of five, just to be fair, makeup products. I love when boxes have more makeup products than skincare products, i.e. the rant I just had a few minutes ago about how it's hard to use skincare products. With the Ipsy bag, to be fair, it's, again, similar to BoxyCharm. It's three out of five products where the makeup... So you got the lip liners, the brushes, and then the highlighting palette, and then we had the sheet masks and the serum, the vitamin C serum. So, I mean, makeup-wise, I understand the products. Like, it's three and three for both boxes. But I'm personally more excited about the BoxyCharm box. Even though it was valued lower, I'm just more excited about that. Now, one thing I hated is that there was highlighting stuff in both boxes so i just got three new highlighting products and i'm like i i will give them a go to test them but i don't need more highlighters and i understand like summer's coming so like everyone wants to be glowy but i just don't know if i will realistically use them after i test them so that was kind of a gripe i had about both boxes but personally, I'm just more excited about the BoxyCharm box. So based on my personal preference, um, I am giving the win to BoxyCharm. The beastly BoxyCharm won this month. Okay, you guys, that is everything I had for you today. As always, whoever you are, wherever you are, if you liked this video, if you didn't like it, I just appreciate that you took the time out of your day and watched it. That means so much to me. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? And hit the subscribe button. You can become part of my Jonesy fam. I am just your basic beauty addict where we talk about all things luxury, high-end, and drugstore. We do not discriminate here on this channel. We love it all. 
So if that sounds like your jam, then become part of the fam. Okay guys, that is everything I had. I will see you in my next one. Bye.